too. I'm gonna wait for the for the weigh in before I went into this, but I'm ready now, man. Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready now. Forget that weigh in. I don't need the weigh in. This is what we've been waiting for, boxing fans. Let's go. This is the first mega fight where it's 50-50. On who you think's gonna win, who you think's gonna lose. I've had my opinions changed and go back and change and then go back. I was like, man, what am I gonna do? And I said, I wanted to see Ward and Kovalev one more time this week before they hit the scales. I wanna look in their eyes and see. If I see something. And I did. People's like, well, what did you see? I said, I saw it. I said, what did you see? I said, I wanted to see. In that final press conference. I needed to see it. Ward looked at Kovalev. And Kovalev looked at Ward. And I saw Kovalev give in. I saw him fighting. He's fighting the pressure of the event. I saw the, the panic on his face. To try to hold it in. Ward saw it too. And it was like a power shift. And it went from Kovalev over to Ward. Now, I could be misreading it. But that's what I saw. But assessing the fight. This is how it's going down. And I've had this assessment for a week and a half. And it has not changed. Sergey Kovalev. Is very strong. The first three rounds is going to tell us the entire fight. The very first three rounds. Kovalev is going to have to get Andre Ward's attention within the first three rounds of the fight. If he does not, the fight is over. Kovalev will not score a late round knockout on Andre Ward. If the fight goes past five rounds, Andre Ward has won the fight. And I'm going to explain to you why. Sergey Kovalev is... His style is basically novice. He telegraphs everything. His thing is power. And when you when you throw a lot of power shots, you neglect the fact of the incoming of the punches coming in. As you saw, Pascal was able to hit him with winging shots whenever he threw him. It was the incoming that gave him so much problems that, you know, he never moved his head from a jab or anything. Kovalev have a great jab to the body. War has a good, the greatest defense there is to not be hit consecutively with punches. So you might land one good shot on Andre Ward, but then you would have to follow that up with other shots. And then he knows how to protect himself so he don't get hit with the second one. So it's going to be nothing clean for Kovalev. In those first couple of rounds. And he's going to be trying to pick his spot. Stay on the outside. Try to use his jab. Kovalev's jab disappears. In fights. And then he just starts trying to measure. To throw the right hand. You can't do that with Andre Ward. Ward is going to stay in the box. With Sergey Kovalev. And smother him. And Kovalev don't like to be smothered. He start putting an elbow on your head, back of your neck. Putting you in headlocks. Because he's uncomfortable with that style of you making him go backwards. And what that does is exerts a lot of energy out of Sergey Kovalev. As Shalimba was able to do. And they say, oh well Kovalev, hey, he was battling a cold and he wasn't 100%. No, Shalimba made him fight off the back foot. And by being offensive and staying long and throwing the shots down the middle, Kovalev couldn't just walk straight in. He had to use his footwork and balance and move around and then use a lot of his legs. And then he went away from his jab. 
which he tried to go back to later on. Ward can pin your arm in, get in close, bang your body, which power punches have a problem with getting hit in the body because they're not used to it because no one's coming in there to deal with the power. They normally back up off the power. So, don't think there won't be any controversy with the hand wraps, with the gloves, all of it, before they even get in the ring. Don't even think that that won't be a factor in the in the fight. Now, Kovalev have a rematch clause if he loses the fight. Ward does not. So, if Andre Ward loses the fight, he's he's basically screwed. They could, the people could demand a rematch, but depending on how the fight go, they won't request another one. Now, if Andre Ward is fighting Kovalev the way he fought in his last fight, he would be knocked out. He stood in front of his opponent with his chin out, and they're two different styles. I, I, I just can't see Andre Ward doing that as much as he did in the last fight. He got caught a lot of shots. He... He shouldn't have got caught with. That could be father time. But he's only 32. Kovalev's 33. But it could be inactivity. And how much would that hurt Andre Ward at this point? But one thing that the main events is concerned about is Andre Ward outclassing Sergey Kovalev. That they went through all of these provisions. I see Kovalev getting dropped by Andre Ward right hand. In the second round. From Kovalev being off balance and uncomfortable. It's going to force Kovalev to, to elite, uh, load his offense in the third round. Be more aggressive. Try to get to Ward's body. Ward's going to wear him down. Go to his body. Counter him. Smother him. Make it bully him in the ring. And then he's going to realize he's not the strongest guy in the ring. Andre Ward is stronger than him. He's going to realize Andre Ward is bigger than him. He's going to realize Andre Ward is more talented than him. You're going to see the mental pressure weigh on Sergey Kovalev as the rounds are going by. And I got him losing this fight eight rounds to four. And they're going to call it a split decision for Andre Ward. And once they call it a split decision for Andre Ward, don't be afraid to bet the draw tonight, too. Bet the draw. That's my advice to everybody. Don't bet wins and losses. Bet a draw. A draw means everybody don't lose, except for Andre Ward. Andre Ward loses if it's a draw. Because Andre Ward has won every fight since the amateurs. He's lost like one fight when he was in the amateurs. Other than that, it has been either win or loss. So, that's my take on the fight. How do y'all see the fight playing out? I think um, Ward's going to really show his class. And you guys are going to understand the difference between a Euro-style fighter versus a pro-style fighter and Andre Ward. Don't get me wrong, Kovalev is a killer. He's got power in both hands, but power fades with fatigue. And when you mentally fatigue yourself for trying to outthink how you're going to land punches on somebody who's very difficult to hit, who's got great eyes and instincts, is. It's going to be quite difficult for a fighter of that magnitude to beat a fighter like Andre Ward when they, he knows that you guys don't like fighting off the back foot and don't know how to fight off the back foot. No matter what John David Jackson's try to teach you, you can't fight off the back foot. Ward knows it, so he knows he could just bully you and dog you whenever he feels like it. So... Kovalev would need to score an early knockdown or something with authority to get Andre Ward's attention. 
to change Andre Ward's opinion about coming in close, which I doubt he's going to do. It's your boy Carcino. I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe. And you see, I've been doing boxing all week long. So I don't want to hear this. <laughs> it's been two weeks I've been giving y'all boxing videos. So I don't want to hear about the where the boxing videos. Stay, pay attention to the timelines. I'm out.